morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning, God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, God bless you. Good morning, God bless you. How are you doing? Can you all hear me very well? Can you all hear me very well? Good morning, God bless you. Good morning, God bless you. You are most welcome to tonight's prayer. You are most welcome to tonight's prayer. Oh, Timothy, you can hear me. Good morning, Georgina. Good morning, Timothy. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. How are you all doing? Hope you're well. Hope you're safe. May the peace of God be with you. May the joy of God be with you. May God open heavens for you tonight. Tonight, as we pray against evil altars, let every evil altar in your life be disappointed and be destroyed. Let every evil altar stagnating you, holding your success, holding your breakthrough, holding your blessings, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Good morning, Mama Ruth. How are you doing, Mama? Good morning. How are you doing? Thank God for your life. Good morning. Hope you arrived safely. Good morning. So, tonight we're going to make this prayers. Let every evil altar, anything can be an evil altar in your life. I don't know where they've laid you. I don't know who have said what they've said. I don't know who is responsible for your predicament. But tonight, we are liberating ourselves from every evil altar. Please bear with me. I won't be able to shout. People are sleeping. So just bear with me. I am liberating ourselves from every altar. Every altar that is speaking negativity, a lot of altars are speaking negativity. Hi, Mama Peace. Good morning. A lot of altars are speaking negativity in our lives. Altars are speaking evil in our lives. Hi, Queen. Good morning. They are speaking evil in our lives. That is why you don't prosper. You try as much as possible to to prosper you've done everything but because there is an altar against your life because there is an altar against your life it will not work because there is how will i put it because there is something limiting you from succeeding you will not have that full deliverance so today we're going to be destroyed hi doris good morning so we're going to destroy all speaking altars i don't know what is speaking against you i don't know the altar that has been raised against you but i tell you the truth when an altar is raised against you things will not work for you it's just in the case of where you you that you went to the church i know last this month early this month first of february and january we went to lay an altar we laid an altar of prosperity. We laid an altar of goodwill and favor, right? Good. That is how people lay evil altars on you. And when they lay that altar on your behalf, they lay altar of sickness, they lay altar of stagnation, they lay altar of pain. Nothing will work for you. When your name is in an evil altar, nothing will work for you. Anything can be an altar. When you're not moving forward, you need to address that issue. When nothing is working for you, you need to address that issue. When you've done all you can and it seems like your, your, your efforts are not yielding increase, you need to address that issue. A lot of us are being under bondage. I keep saying it because when you listen to people's story, you will find out that this is pure bondage. Okay, let me just give you a brief story. Someone called me and said he is supposed to have gotten something. When I mean something, this is something that he has, it's just academics. And that academics is a professional one. So he got to almost the finals, just few months to graduate. 
few months to graduate, he was dismissed from school. He was dismissed from school for something that he did not do. They, he went to panel, did everything, and the school is a very strict one. Went to panel, did all he can. Nothing worked. He had to leave just a few months. And you tell me nothing is wrong. And you tell me it is just life. Nothing. He didn't do anything. And he was asked to go. All the things he did. And I don't... When such things happen, you find out that there is an, there is an altar speaking like, Okay, fine. He left. And moved over to somewhere else. Over there that he is, there is a stack of delay still stopping him from achieving what he's supposed to achieve. He refused to give up. He refused to give up. He still left that profession, went to another country and continued because he really wanted that thing he was looking for. But still in that country, the same thing was happening. There is an altar speaking against him. I don't know the altar that is speaking against you. It could be an altar of delay. It could be an altar of rejection. It could be an altar of disappointment. A lot of people have disappointment. Nothing is working. Someone has a business proposal for you. You're so ready for it. The next minute you get a call and they tell you, Oh, don't bother. We've gotten someone else. Why is that someone else not you? Why is that someone else not you? I'm trying to make you understand different types of altars. Why is that someone else not you? Why are you not the one getting that job? You're so, you're so well, well qualified for it. You go in for it. They choose someone else not you. Just before your eyes. And this has been happening. It's not the first time. It's not the second time. They will always choose people who you are more qualified over you. There is an altar speaking against you. Your children are not doing well. You've done everything right to raise a godly children. You've inculcated good habits. You and your spouse, you guys live a good life. So that child or those children should follow those steps. But you find out that your children are misbehaving, taking hard substances. Some of them go as far as moving out. I never ever want to speak to you again. Some of them go as far as misbehaving. That you as a parent, you look around and you ask, why did God punish me with this child? I know some of some mothers have been saying that. I think God has truly punished me give it by giving me this child. Something is wrong. Some people, there is an evil word spoken over your children. And those evil words are that they will never be useful to you. Those are evil authors. And you find, you may, maybe think, oh, it's nothing. Maybe you actually knew who said it. And maybe it was said over a quarrel. And to you, you didn't take it as anything. But this person did not just say it as a quarrel. This person went behind and executed that, 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 that thing he or she said. What am I saying? There were so, so many evil altars. You as a young lady, nothing seems to be working. These men are out to sleep with you and nothing else. They sleep with you, they move on. They move on. They would even prefer someone else. They would prefer to date someone they met, marry someone they met today over you they've been dating over the years. And they keep promising you, oh, I'm going to marry you. Don't worry, I'm going to marry you. The next minute you have heard, the next minute, the next thing you will hear is he has gone ahead to get married to someone else. After keeping you waiting for a long time, there is an error. Something is wrong when you're in the midst of Abundance and you're lacking. How do I mean in the midst of abundance? You left your country where nothing is happening. You moved to a country where there is where it is milk, is milk where there is milk and honey. You go there and you're so lacking. 
The people you went with, they've all gotten jobs. If not a very good job, at least a sustainable job. But you, you've not got it. It's not like you're, they're better off than you. They're not better off than you. Something is wrong. I don't know the type of altar that you're seated on. Some people, nothing works in their hands. When I mean absolutely nothing works in their hands, whatever they touch dies. Ah, that is a bad thing. Whatever you touch dies. Nothing good is happening. Someone will give you a very progressful something, a business that is progressful, and tell you, oh, please help me handle it. And you know very well that there is a good profit coming out from that business. But once that, once that business is handed over to you, that business dies. There is a problem. There is a problem. You go in and out of hospital every minute. There has never been a time you were free from sickness. Oh, the said you, the, you, you're free from this one. The next minute, another one is happening to you. There is a problem. I don't know the type of problem you're, you're in right now. I don't know the type of situation it is. But tonight we're going to pray against any altar limiting us. The limitations, we don't want it. We don't want anything that will hinder us down. We want to see total breakthrough. It could be ancestral altars. It could be the sins of the father. It could be a curse placed on someone. Placed by someone. It could be what you did that brought a curse. A lot of us live a very careless life. And you don't know that those careless lives actually brings curses to you. Or maybe you knew and you don't care. Until it started hitting you differently. Then you start seeking God. So I don't know the type of the type of altar you're sitting on. A lot of us have occultic uncles, occultic brothers that have taken our name to evil coven and has kept us in captive. So that nothing you do will work for you. You struggle day in, day out. This is not who you are. This is not what you are. You used to be a huge businessman. But right now, you can barely feed. There is a problem. So tonight, we shall handle it in the name of Jesus. So quickly, let us get to the Bible. Let us read the book of Psalm 35. I love Psalm 35. It is actually a war for prayer. It is returning whatever anyone has done against you. But there's something I want to say too. If you are the weapon fashioned against ourselves, I keep using that word because some people do not know that what is wrong with them is actually what they brought upon themselves. So in this case, you don't have to tell God to contend with anyone that contends with you. Go down and ask for mercy. If you were the one that brought it upon yourself, you know that the predicament you're going through, you brought it upon yourself. Life was actually good for you. You had a good destiny running for you. You spoiled it yourself. Go and ask for mercy. It is mercy prayer you should be doing. Not warfare prayer. Because warfare prayer are for those who are, who are held and captive. If you feel that you're under a siege or under a cage or under a bondage, warfare prayer is for you. But if you were the weapon fashioned against yourself, mercy prayer is for you. Because it will not work unless you keep asking God for mercy. Asking Him for mercy. That is the only reason how, why you will succeed. So check yourself. Where do you fall in? The problems you're facing, were you the one that brought it upon yourself? If you were the one that brought it upon yourself, you're sure nobody, nobody did anything to you. You made wrong decisions. Go down and ask God for mercy. Let us go to the book of Psalm 35. Psalms chapter 35.
Is it Naim everything my Is it Naim everything my Is it Naim everywhere? Hey, is it Naim everything my Is it Naim everything my Oh, in everything my Is it Naim everything my is it my name empty my I wish all of you understand Ibo do. You really enjoy. I love Ibo songs. Ibo songs are wonderful. I love Ibo songs. Ah, if all of you understand Ibo, eh? One day I'll just turn on live and I will sing praises. I will sing praises. That is my one weapon of warfare. Praises, praises. When I praise, situations are settled. So what I'll also encourage you to praise. Do more of praise and less of prayer. Because in praises, you can never go wrong. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalm 35 and I read. Content, O Lord, with those who content with me. In this case, we shall be saying, content, O Lord, with those evil altars contenting with us. Content, O Lord, with those evil altars that contend with us. Content, O Lord, with those evil altars that contend with us. Every evil altar speaking against me speaking against my children speaking against my well-being speaking against my family oh lord my god content with them any altar of failure content with them any altar of shame content with them any altar of delay content with them any altar of promise and fail content with them any altar of disappointment, content with them. Any altar of rising and falling, content, O oh Lord, with those who content with me. And it says, fight against those who fight against me. All those who fight against me. All those that said, I will not amount to anything. Every speaking word against my life. Every speaking word against the life of my children every speaking word that has come to torment my life in the name of jesus fight against them fight against the enemies of my life fight against the enemies of my destiny fight against the enemies of my well-being fight against the enemies of my progress fight against the enemies that are up to destroy me lord jesus fight against them Anyone that is up to destroy my life, that is up to destroy my destiny, fight against them in the name of Jesus. And it says, take hold of shield and buckler. Take hold of shield and buckler. You are God that fights battle. You are God that delivers man. You are God that sets man free. Take hold of shield and fight more for my rights. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, fight for all those who are oppressed. Fight for all those who are in bondage. Fight for all those who have been held captive. Fight for all those who are in serious troubles. Fight and fight for them in the name of Jesus. He says, draw the spear and javelin. Say to my say to my pursuers, I am your deliverance. Let them be put, I am your de deliverance. Let them be put to shame. And dishonor who seek after my life. Anyone that is after your life. Anyone that is after your destiny. Anyone that is after your well-being. Anyone that is after your progress. Anyone that is after the life and the life of your children. Lord, de um, destroy them. In the name of Jesus, put them to shame and dishonor. Put my enemies to shame and dishonor. Put my unfriendly friends to shame and dishonor. Put them, O oh Lord, to shame. Put them, O oh Lord, to shame. Let them be in shame.
forever in the name of Jesus. And it says again, let them be torn back and confounded. Let them let them be that let them be back, let them be torn back and confounded who devise evil against me. Let them be like chaff before the wind, with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. Let their ways be dark and slippery. Let the ways of my enemies be dark and slippery with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. For without cause they hid in it for me. Without cause they dug a pit for my life. Let destruction come upon them on our way. Let the nets which they hid for me, let it instill them and let them fall into it and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. So this is just a preparation of the warfare prayer we're going to be making this night. Let whoever that dig the pit shall fall into it. Onye guru molu lu yada buo. Onye guru molu lu yada buo. Oru muvu mochi. Whoever that digs a pit for me shall fall into it. Whoever that prepares evil charm for me shall be trapped into it. Whoever that prepares evil charm for my children shall fall into it. In the name of Jesus, whoever that is up to destroy me shall be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, whoever that digs a pit of failure shall fall into it. Whoever that digs a pit of destruction shall fall into it. Whoever that digs a pit of shame shall fall into it. Let every evil altar backfire in the name of Jesus. Let every evil altar catch fire. Every manipulation catch fire every failure catch fire every pain catch fire in the name of jesus every altar speaking against my life every altar speaking against my well-being in the name of jesus christ of nazareth let every altar be destroyed in the name of jesus amen so tonight we shall be raising a fire against every altar of poverty we shall be raising fire against every altar of poverty every altar of financial delay struggling without results year to year you, you remain the same no change year to year you beg you don't you you beg for money you're not a giver year to year nothing seems to be working you are not financially fruitful Everyone around you has gone out of poverty. You're just there, you and your family. So tonight we're going to raise war against every altar of poverty. In the name of Jesus, we raise war against every altar of poverty. And we decree that let every altar of poverty operating in our lives catch fire this moment. We are going to be sending fire. Poverty is a spirit. Poverty is a spirit. It follows one where they go. If it is not addressed, it stays with you. And you find out that it takes over to your children. You'll find out that your children are not even doing well. You'd suffer to train them. You borrowed money to train them. And yet, they are not doing well. They are not doing well. In the name of Jesus, we raise fire against every altar of poverty. We raise fire against every altar of poverty operating in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we raise fire in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth against every altar of poverty, every altar of lack and want, every altar of financial delay, in the name of Jesus, we raise war against them. Every evil altar of financial delay speaking against us, speaking against us, speaking against our finances. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we raise war against them. We raise war against them. We raise war against them. Catch fire, you spirit of poverty. In the name of Jesus, you spirit of lack and want, you spirit of financial delay, catch fire at this moment. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you spirit of financial delay, catch fire in the name of Jesus. You spirit of struggling without results, catch fire 
in the name of Jesus. You spirit of financial delay, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we address you and we address you in no other name but the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the son of the true living God. And we decree that you die by fire out of our lives, catch fire and be destroyed out of our lives. Leave our lives alone. Leave us alone, you spirit of financial delay. You spirit of financial delay. You spirit of financial stagnation. Catch fire at this moment. Catch fire at this moment. You spirit of unfruitfulness. Catch fire at this moment. Catch fire at this moment. Catch fire at this moment. May the Lord rebuke you. You spirit of poverty. May the Lord rebuke you. Rebuke you out of my life. Rebuke you out of my family. Rebuke you out my children rebuke you out of my spouse rebuke you in the name of jesus may the lord rebuke you 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 in the name of jesus you spirit of poverty catch fire at this moment 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 be thou destroyed spirit of poverty be thou destroyed spirit of financial delay be thou destroyed, spirit of unfruitfulness. Be thou destroyed, spirit of struggle without results. Be thou destroyed, spirit of spirit, spirit of putting in your all, all efforts and it will not yield anything. In the name of Jesus, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. We remove you from our lives. We reject you from our lives. Financial delay, we reject you. Financial delay, we reject you. Financial delay, we reject you. Poverty, we reject you. We reject you. I denounce you in the name of Jesus. I denounce you out of my life. Leave me alone. Get out of my life. Get out of my life. Struggle without results. Get out of my life. Lack of success. Get out of my life. Leave me alone completely in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we raise fire again. Fire in the name of Jesus. Lord, fight for us. Lord Jesus, fight our battles. We raise fire again over every altar, altar of darkness, turning our success to failure. Altar of darkness, turning our success to failure. We come against you in the name of Jesus. Altar of darkness, we raise fire against you. Altar of darkness, we raise fire against you in the name of Jesus. Turning our success to failure. Anything turning our success to failure, we raise fire against you in the name of Jesus. Any altar of darkness that is turning our success to failure in the name of jesus we destroy you we destroy you we destroy you in the name of jesus anything making our efforts to be fruitless we destroy you in the name of jesus you altar of darkness being projected in our lives we don't know who projected you and we don't want to know but we come in the name which is jesus christ of nazareth and we destroy you you altar of darkness and we rebuke you you altar of darkness and we denounce you you altar of darkness in the name of jesus any altar of darkness turning our success to failure in the name of Jesus, we destroy you. In the name of Jesus, we destroy you. In the name of Jesus, we destroy you. We must succeed in this life. 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 Any evil altar of failure, any evil altar of pain, any evil altar of shame, turning our success to failure, turning our success to disappointment, turning our success to bitter tears, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let such altar be destroyed. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost consume that altar. Consume that altar that is speaking against us. Every altar of darkness be consumed 
in the name of Jesus. Every altar of darkness be consumed in the name of Jesus. Every altar of darkness be consumed, be rebuked, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every altar speaking against you, speaking against me, speaking against any member of our families, be destroyed this moment. We uproot you from the roots, from the roots, from the roots. In the name of Jesus, who is able to do all things. Jesus is the mighty man in battle. We call upon Jesus. Father, arise in your anger and destroy every altar, every altar of darkness, speaking failure in our lives, speaking disappointment in our lives, speaking hatred in our lives, speaking near success syndrome in our lives, speaking delay in our lives, uproot it from the root, uproot it from the root, uproot it from the root. Jesus, fight for us. Uproot every evil altar, uproot every evil altar, altar of darkness, altar of death, Altar of shame, altar of disgrace, altar of spirit husband, or put it out from our lives. Take it away from our lives. Take it away from our lives. Take it away. Jesus, take it away. Or put it, or put it, altar of failure. Or put it, or put it out from our lives completely in the name of Jesus. You, altar of failure, I reject you in the name of Jesus. You, altar of failure, I reject you in the name of Jesus. You altar of failure, I reject you in the name of Jesus. I denounce you. I reject you by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I reject your works. I reject your works. I reject you entirely in the name of Jesus. Amen. Owners of evil load, carry your load. Owners of evil load, carry your load. Owners of evil load. Carry your load, oh. Owners of evil load, carry your load. Owners of evil load, carry your load. Owners of evil load, carry your load. Owners of delay, carry your load. Carry it. Owners of poverty, carry your load. Owners of near sock syndrome, carry your load. Owners of destruction, Carry your load. Owners of pain and shame, carry your load. Owners of evil load, carry your load in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every evil load that the enemy has heaped on us, every evil load, every altar of evil load that the enemy has heaped on us every altar of evil load that the enemy has projected in our lives we denounce it in the name of jesus we reject it in the name of jesus we offload it we bring it down owners of evil load. we remove every evil load that the enemy has kept in our lives we remove it in the name of jesus we remove it in the name of jesus and we ask oh lord Arise and let our enemies scatter. Destroy every load of stagnation. Destroy every load of delayed marriage. Destroy every load of financial constraint. Destroy every load of shame and pain. Destroy every load of stagnation. Destroy every load of failure. Destroy every load of unfruitfulness. Destroy it from our lives. In the name of Jesus, we don't want them anymore. We don't want them anymore. We don't want this evil load. Be taken away from us. Be taken away from us. Be pulled out from us. Be pulled out from us. Be pulled out from us entirely. Be removed from us entirely. Be removed from us entirely. In the name of Jesus. Amen. O temple of darkness, providing round meeting place for my enemies. Catch fire. O table of darkness, any table of darkness that my enemies are sitting on, using it to oppress me, using it to manipulate me, using it to project evil in my life, catch fire at this moment. In the name of Jesus, catch fire at this moment. O table of darkness, I address you 
in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you table of darkness that my enemies sit on and they plot evil against me. I denounce you in the name of Jesus. I ask the fire of the Holy Ghost to uproot and carry you out. You and your workers in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost destroy every evil gathering against me. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost destroy every darkness against me. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost destroy every evil agenda against me. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost destroy every evil manipulation against me. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost destroy all evil plans against me. Be thou destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be thou destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every evil table of darkness catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every evil table of darkness catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every evil table of darkness catch fire at this moment in the name of Jesus. Amen. Consuming fire of the Lord. Locate every altar accepting satanic sacrifice against my soul. Consuming fire. Jesus is the consuming fire. Lord is the consuming fire. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, consuming fire. Locate every altar accepting sacrifice against my soul and destroy them. In the name of Jesus, locate every altar, every altar where I am being sacrificed, where my destiny is being sacrificed, where my progress is being sacrificed, locate it and destroy it in the name of Jesus, where the future of my children is being sacrificed, locate it and destroy it in the name of Jesus. Let every altar, let every altar be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Any evil altar that is accepting sacrifice in my life be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Any coven where they've designed to put us or our destiny, Lord Jesus, destroy such coven in the name of Jesus. We come against every manipulation. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come against every spiritual attack. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come against every spiritual plans. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come against every spiritual holds. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be thou destroyed in Jesus' name. Amen. O voice of evil altar, I silence you. Amen. Every voice of evil altar, voice of evil altar of delay, voice of evil altar of stagnation, voice of evil altar of failure, I silence you in the name of Jesus. Voice of evil altar coming from my father's house, voice of evil altars coming from my mother's house, I silence you in the name of Jesus. Voice of evil and sinistra altars, I silence you in the name of Jesus. Voice of evil as sinistra altars, I silence you in the name of Jesus. Voice of evil as sinistra altars, I silence you in the name of Jesus. I silence every voice of altar, every voice of evil altar speaking against me, speaking against my children. Any voodoo done on my behalf, any occultic manipulation done on my behalf, I send fire of the Holy Ghost destroyed. 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 Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, we silence every mouth speaking against us. By the blood of Jesus, we silence anything that is not of the Lord speaking against us. By the blood of Jesus, we silence any spirit speaking against our children, speaking against their health. We silence them. We silence them. We silence them. 
In the name of Jesus, we silence every occultic power. We silence it by the blood of Jesus. 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 Every rejection, we silence it by the blood of Jesus. Every failure, we silence it by the blood of Jesus. Every rejection, we silence by the blood of Jesus. Every satanic and evil manipulation, we silence it by the blood of Jesus. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Let the works of every busybody working against my soul be destroyed. Every unfriendly friend, let their works be destroyed. Every friend enemy, let their works be destroyed. Everyone trying to be my friend, while at the back of their hearts they have evil intentions, Father, destroy them. Lord, destroy them. Destroy unfriendly friends. Destroy my manipulators. Destroy all those that are up against me. Destroy them in the name of Jesus. Destroy their powers in the name of Jesus. Destroy their purposes in the name of Jesus. Destroy their agendas. In the name of Jesus, let every unfriendly friend be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the wicked altars against my life be consumed by fire. Let the wicked altars against my life be consumed by fire. Let the wicked altars operating in my life, any form of wicked altar operating in my life, operating in my place of work, be consumed in the name of Jesus. Be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be consumed. Be consumed in the name of Jesus. Any evil altar speaking against my life, any evil altar speaking against my progress, any evil altar speaking against my well-being, any evil altar speaking against my finance, any evil altar speaking against my children, any evil altar speaking against any good thing in my life, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you. In the name of Jesus, any evil altar against my life be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Any evil altar against my well-being be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Any evil altar against my success be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Any evil altar against my breakthrough be destroyed. I destroy you by the blood of Jesus. I destroy you by the blood blood of jesus you shall not have effect in my life you shall not have effect in the life of my children i destroy you this minute in the name of jesus every evil altar be destroyed be destroyed be destroyed may the lord rebuke you you evil altar walking against me may the lord rebuke you you evil altar walking in my family may the lord rebuke you you evil altar operating in my household may the lord rebuke you 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 any evil or projection may the lord rebuke you. May the Lord rebuke you. I destroy you. I destroy you by the fire of the Holy Ghost. May the Lord rebuke you. Every evil altar, every evil tongue speaking against us, walking against us, be destroyed in secret, in physical. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. You evil altar, Speaking against me, working against me, being against my well-being, being against my finances, being against my blessings, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. The the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Any evil dream raised against my sleep, be cast down and be destroyed. Every evil dream raised against my sleep, be cast down and be destroyed. Every evil dream raised against my sleep, every evil dream 
raised against my sleep. Be cast down this moment. Be destroyed this moment. In the name of Jesus, every evil dream, in the name of Jesus, be destroyed. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Evil dream projected in my life that makes me uncomfortable every night. You sleep, you dream all sort of evil dream. I destroy you in the name of Jesus. I destroy you in the name of Jesus. I destroy you in the name of Jesus. Catch fire right now. 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 Evil dreams catch fire. Evil dreams catch fire. Evil dreams catch fire in the name of Jesus. Wherever they are using to manipulate me, however they are using to manipulate me, be it through dreams, I reject you in the name of Jesus. I reject you in the name of Jesus. I reject you in the name of Jesus. I denounce you in the name of Jesus. You evil dream, I denounce you. You evil dream, I denounce you. You evil dream, I denounce you. You sex in the dream, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You spirit husband, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You spirit husband, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed right now. Be destroyed right now. Be destroyed right now. You and your works and whatever you represent, be destroyed this moment. You and your works and whatever you represent, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. You and your works and whatever you represent, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Arise, O oh Lord, let my enemies be scattered. Arise, arise, O oh Lord, let my enemies be scattered. Arise, arise, O oh Lord, let my enemies, let them be scattered. O oh Lord, my God, arise, arise, O oh Lord. Arise, arise, O oh Lord. Let my enemies be scattered. Arise, arise, O oh Lord. Let my enemies be destroyed. Arise, arise, O oh Lord. Let my enemies be scattered oh lord my god lord arise arise oh king of glory arise arise oh lord let my enemies be scattered arise arise oh lord let my enemies be destroyed arise arise oh lord let my enemies be scattered. Oh Lord, my God, my God, arise. Oh Lord, arise. Arise, O oh King of glory. Arise, mighty man in battle. Arise, O oh King. Let, the, let my enemies be scattered. Let the enemies of my life of my progress, of my well-being, let them all be scattered. Let them all be scattered. Let the enemies of my life be scattered. Let anyone that thinks evil for me be scattered. Let anyone that projects evil for me be scattered. Let anyone that projects pain in my life be scattered. Let anyone that projects shame in my life be scattered. Arise, O King of glory. Arise, O King of glory. Arise, O King of glory. Let my enemies be completely scattered, be completely shattered, be completely destroyed, be completely uprooted, be completely disgraced in the name of Jesus. 
Arise, O mighty man in battle. Arise, O Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and let the enemies of my life be scattered. Let all those who do not want my progress be scattered. Let all those things that oppresses my life be scattered. Let all those things that has held me captive be scattered. Let all those things that bring shame and disgrace in my life be scattered. Let all those things that project pain and disgrace in my life be scattered. Arise, O King. Arise, O King. Arise, O King. And let my enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus. Merciful Jesus, oh merciful Jesus, oh merciful Jesus, Jesus I trust in you, oh merciful Jesus, oh merciful Jesus, oh merciful Jesus, Jesus I trust in you, you're merciful Jesus. You're a merciful Jesus. You are a merciful Jesus. Jesus, I trust in you. Oh, merciful Jesus. Oh, merciful Jesus. Oh, merciful Jesus. Jesus, I trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer said at the hour of three. You died, Jesus, but the source of life gush out for souls, and the ocean of mercy open up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, and love the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. Amen. O blood and water, which gush out from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush out from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush out from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now until the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now until the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now until the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, the only Son of our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into the heavens, seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for my sins, in atonement for your sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity 
of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for my sins, in atonement for your sins and those of the whole world. Lord Jesus, we ask that you fight our battles, Lord. By your mercy, deliver us from all that bothers us. By your mercy, deliver us from all the shame. By your mercy, deliver us from every pain. Deliver us from disgrace. By your mercy, O oh Lord, deliver us from all those people who are stronger than us. Deliver us, O oh Lord, for your name's sake. Deliver us, O oh Lord, for your name's sake. Deliver us, O oh Lord, for your name's sake. In the name of Jesus, amen. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in an atonement for my sins, in atonement for your sins and those of the whole world. We reject sickness in the name of Jesus. We reject sickness out of our lives in the name of Jesus. We reject pain out of our lives in the name of Jesus. We reject shame out of our lives in the name of Jesus. We reject depression out of our lives in the name of Jesus. We reject all evil purposes out of our lives. We reject them in the name of Jesus. We reject them in the name of Jesus. We reject them. We reject them. Every spirit of delay, I reject you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of stagnation, I reject you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of ups and downs, I reject you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of shame, I reject you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of disgrace, I reject you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of near success syndrome, I reject you in the name of Jesus. I reject you in the name of Jesus. I reject you in the name of Jesus. I reject you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for my sins, in atonement for your sins and those of the whole world. We are victorious. Eh, we are victorious. Glory be to God, who gave us the victory, the victory. We are victorious. Oh, we are victorious. Glory to the Father, who has given us victory, given us victory. We are victorious, oh, we are victorious. Glory be to Jesus, who has given us victory, oh, victory. He has given us, oh, we are victorious. Glory to the Father, who has given us victory. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 
mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for my sins, in atonement for your sins and those of the whole world. One minute, let us pray for Nigeria. Nigeria did their election yesterday, 25th. And we ask, O oh Lord, you that gives victory, give us victory in Nigeria. Do not let evil prevail. Do not let occultic people prevail. Give us victory, Lord Jesus. Give us victory. Give us victory. Give us victory in the name of Jesus. We pray for change in Nigeria. We pray for total change in Nigeria. We pray for total change in Nigeria. In the name of Jesus. Let the heavens open. Let the heavens open and rain on each and every one of us here. I speak the blessings of God into your life. I speak the favor of God into your life. I speak divine protection into your life. For God is intentional about you. And God will save you. And God will deliver you. And God will set you free. In the name of Jesus, amen. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Saint Maria Faustina, pray for us. Saint Maria Faustina, pray for us. Saint Maria Faustina, pray for us. Let us pray. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasure of compassion inexhaustible look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we may not be despair but become despondent but with great confidence for, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will which is love peace and favor amen may the blessings of the lord be with you amen may the joy that only jesus can give be with you amen May he cause his light to shine upon each and every one of you. When you seek God, you shall find. All limitations are taken away completely. All hindrances are taken away completely. All shame are taken away completely. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. I pray for all those who gifted me today. May the blessings of the Lord be with you. Surely God's goodness and mercy will reign in your life. Surely God's goodness and mercy will protect you in your life. Surely God's goodness and mercy will be your safeguard in the name of Jesus. You will never lack. You shall never lack. You will live in abundance. You will have and have overflow of financial breakthrough 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. I also pray for those who share my videos. May the blessings of the Lord be with you. May the favor of the Lord be with you. At every point when you need God, he will set in for you. He will deliver you. He will save you. And he will set you free. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And amen. I also pray for all those who honor this live stream invitation. God will send you a helper. God will send you a helper. God will send you a helper that will help you, that will liberate you, that will take you out from the pit of poverty and elevate you to the, to the place of success. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you all for being here. God bless you and God bless you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen and amen. God bless you all. I've come to the end of today's video. God bless you. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please, please, please give it a thumbs up. It helps the analytics so that other people can be able to see it too. Give it a thumbs up. God bless each and every one of you as you give it a thumbs up. God bless each and every one of you as you give it a thumbs up. God bless you as you give it a thumbs up. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. And God bless you. See you tomorrow by 6.30 Nigerian time. Probably 6.40 because I'm very tired. 6.40. Okay? 6.40-ish. God bless each and every one of you. Stay safe and stay confident. I love you so much from the depth of my heart. Until I come your way next time in the morning, stay safe and stay blessed. God bless you. Bye-bye.